be sure to check out my Patreon for weekly exclusive interviews, extra content on VV and Omi, and building generational wealth, as well as money management tips from experienced whales. Yo, what's going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we're back with another VV and Ecomi video. In this one, we're going to be talking about a pretty big topic I want to discuss with you all. It's going to be if I believe that VV's NFTs will ever go back to their all-time highs. Do I still have the same conviction in the um in the team and the community and stuff like that? And just overall, my thoughts when it comes down to the collector's aspect of the NFT space. So um yeah, that being said, let's just get straight into it, y'all. Drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and yeah, let's get it. So when it comes down to VV, I'm I'm insanely impressed with the Akomi team. I'm I'm impressed with what they've been able to accomplish and how quickly they're moving. I know a lot of people inexperienced, more so on the business end, who has no experience in licensing and who has no experiences in tech, thinks that VV is going slow. I understand that that's a narrative being spun. Me actually having experience in all of these areas, I understand just how quick VV is moving, and they're moving very very fast. Um, there are some areas that they struggle with, like tech. Tech is a slow area, but it could still be done. It, they, could, they could be moving a lot faster. They could. Um, I don't know how they're spending their money. I don't know the decisions behind the scenes that's leading them to, the, to make certain decisions. So why not hire a different group of people to, to get the search feature, feature working? I don't know. Like, are they putting that capital towards working on the VV-verse or, or something else that we have not been told about? The thing is, when it comes down to my investment, I believe that the people I invested in know best because they know the full picture while they're only showing me bits and pieces. And I can look at the bits and pieces and see if that's enough for me to still hold my conviction. I can't say you need to be hiring people to develop this when I don't know what all you're developing in the background. That, that, that makes no sense. You can't, make a, you can't make these bold statements when you don't have the full information. So for me, I have just as much conviction as I've always had in the project. I just don't spend on much I don't spend as much time trying to convince someone else to have as much conviction in the project. It's just it's not my place. It's not I don't I don't care who has conviction or who doesn't. I understand how huge this opportunity is and I am going to continue to invest, continue to make more purchases and stuff like that and hold my bags. Like that is that is what I'm doing. Um now to each their own. You, you do your own investment strategy. You have to do your own research. I'm not a financial advisor. Um, all I can do is tell people what I'm doing and, and tell people about my convictions. So yeah, that being said, let's talk about the quality of what VV is actually offering right now in comparison to the broader NFT space. So do I think that we'll see some of the same prices again on some of these collectibles? Absolutely. I don't think that we saw any price on VV that is unrealistic to attain again. I don't think that we have seen that on VV. And, and I base that off of what we have seen from the overall NFT space. So let's check this out. Um, look at this. So this is the top 20 highest selling NFTs. You got a 5.4 million right here. 5.4 million. 5.9 million. And look at, look at the quality of these. Now, the, these, this is historic. Like this Edward Snowden, this is historic. That's something that's historic. Um, no idea what this is. I'm not going to read up on it. I don't care that much. This is a nice piece of artwork here. This sold for six million. And and yeah, this right here. I mean, yeah, that sold for six million. I don't know the story behind it. I'm pretty sure story, maybe some forms of utility and stuff is tied to some of these selling for what they're selling for. But I mean, I just don't care enough to dig too much into it. But I'm pretty sure that the thing that all of these have in common that's in the millions like this is there one of one pieces like this is part of the obviously this is part of the same crypto punks collection um certain crypto punks have sold for certain amounts um and as you can see these amounts get crazy this is what people are willing to pay all this money for They're, they were willing to pay this this much money for this now do i think that pieces on vv ever reach these prices that probably not and i say this because a one of one piece, or, or at least not the main pieces that everyone care about. All the one of ones and stuff selling on VV, we don't care about that. Like uh, that's not gonna help me. It's not like I can afford one of those. So it's like I don't really care about the one of one pieces. The one of one pieces on VV, they have high chances of being able to compete with some of this stuff. But the regular stuff that we're holding, like the tides and and the the, the partner statue, it's very unlikely that the, this will ever reach these types of millions. Like like any of this stuff on this list right here. Um, it's just extremely unlikely that, that that will happen because these are one of one pieces. 
these are one of one pieces and we have one of 10,000 and 60,000s and stuff like that. So while I don't expect to to see many many pieces reach like just individually like like I think that maybe Secret Rare Spider-Man something like that only a thousand editions we could probably see something like that hit a million at some point in the future. Like that that may be around the highest, but it may not even be able to go that high just because like you know like it may not even be able to go that high. Um, I don't know, though, because I wasn't... When I was thinking before, like when we was in the middle of the FOMO, the hype, and how high these, this stuff is going before, we're not thinking about the fact that this is the same NFT over and over. And what's going to drive the value? Obviously, mint numbers. Like, let, let's say some mints. Some mints on VV are more rare than others or, or more, more rare and, and in the top percentage. You'll probably be able to get even more money for those things. So we may be able to see the top of the mint numbers sell for for certain amounts um if anything i don't think that every single did i don't think that there's going to be a, a category on vv where everything in that category sells for like a million like like every single one like when, once you get down to some of the the middle ish mint numbers i think that the price starts to drop substantially um obviously sub 500 sub 100s and stuff like that you can you can demand a different premium for those um i don't think that we I, there's not many that i can think of right now where i could see all of them going for because if you look at the comic books look at the comic book industry every single comic book isn't out here selling for three million dollars that's one comic book historically has sold for that and it was the most rare highest quality one most of the time or the high, highest quality one willing to be sold anyways so when you look at it from that perspective you start to realize everything might not sell for these crazy prices some will and they, but then all, all it takes is one in your category to sell for a million dollars. You know, you can at least probably get 50K for yours. So I don't think that that's bad either. I think that the thing with the community is everyone is expecting to just become a billionaire or something off of everything. And it's just, that's not realistic, man. Um, I do think that it's very, very realistic to see some prices rise back up. Maybe the, the max on some of these things. I think that we can hundreds of thousands for a lot of the OG, very, very valuable, you know, first appearances on VV. I don't think hundreds of thousands is off the table at all. Um, but because they're not one of ones, I find it hard to visualize a bunch of these non one of one pieces going for millions and millions of dollars. I don't see us ever getting to look like this list with with a Todd. I don't see a Todd hitting this list like this, but I could see I could see a Todd at 100,000 eventually. I can see a Todd um, being being around a hundred thousand eventually. I can see that. I, I I just could never see. I could never see this. So, um, but but with the one of one pieces, stuff like this could be possible, especially depending on what type of one one of one pieces that they start they start to release on VV. So some of those, like the very first one of one piece on VV, if VV really goes crazy, blows up, lives up to its potential, um. All those one of one pieces on VV could really could really do well, especially the very first one. The very first one ever sold on VV, I believe that's so historic. If VV can goes on to be this huge big thing, big build a big empire, I believe that's definitely going to be a million dollar piece. So um yeah, like that's that's my mindset when it comes down to just the collecting aspect. I don't want to go too heavily on what utility can do and things like that, but honestly, depending on the utility. I think the utility itself is going to be the value for a lot of these NFTs, if you think about it. So having certain NFTs come with the ability to rent it to people and you can make residual income from that. I don't think that that instantly makes that a million dollar NFT. I think that that NFT's value is going to be based around how much money you can actually make hold in that NFT, how frequently they're rented and things like that. Like if, if, you, 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 if you can rent everything out on Vivi, but some things never sell, just because you rent, you can rent something does not make it more valuable. If nobody wants it, like I, th I think demand is going to have a play a huge role in the value of some things on VV. Other things like the collector's items, like the Todds, the the first appearance of Spider Man, the the comic books. I think some of this stuff is going to have its true values, but I just don't see. I, I don't see. The, the unrealistic expectations that a lot of people see for some of this stuff on VV. Um, I, I think that I think that I'm a lot more grounded in my expectations. I'm not expecting something huge. Now, 
my expectations for the Omi token, that's completely different because the Omi token encompasses the stuff on VV that can really hit these prices right here. The stuff on VV that I can see selling for 70 million. I don't know if a one of one has been released yet that I would see selling for that. But I mean, to be fair, I would have never saw this selling for that. So who knows? But the Omi token can encompass all of this. It can encompass the stuff on VV selling for these type of prices. It, it can include also it's also going to include the stuff selling for um, like just the Todd's, the, the, the Spider-Man's and stuff like that. And it's also going to include everything going on in the metaverse, as well as everything going on with VV's gaming partners and any other partner Im implementing the Omi token. So it's a lot of stuff going back to that Omi token. So I believe that the the potential the potential on the Omi token is just infinitely better than any NFT on the platform. Any NFT, I put I put the Omi token above NF, any NFT. But obviously, I'm I, I came from the crypto space. I'm I'm a fan of crypto. I like that's that's my thing. That's what I fully understand. I don't understand collectors' items as well. Um, so th take take this with a grain of salt. Like I'm I'm no collect collector's item expert. It just doesn't make sense to me that something with a thousand additions would equal up to something that only one in the world exists. Only one person, one person will ever be able to hold that. I don't see them. I don't see somebody paying seventy thousand. I mean seventy million. I don't see somebody paying seventy million for one of a thousand. I just don't see that happening. That's a Ferrari, like a Ferrari. You you can build a a Ferrari and they don't even charge that much for a Ferrari. <laughs> so like yeah, like that. That's I just certain things I just don't see ever happening. But let me know what you all think. Let me know how you all feel about that, man. Um, overall, I feel like my convictions are as strong as always. Um, I think my expectations for a lot of things are grounded a lot more. A lot, uh, definitely a lot more. Um. I've, start, I've, I've, just, I've just grown as an investor. I understand a lot more. Like before, I was completely against diversification at one point in time. Well, certain types of diversification. So um, now I, I'm very diversified. People in my Patreon know the, the other stuff that I'm invested in and some of the other things that we've made money on. Like, it's just, I feel like my, my perspective has grown. I've changed. I've learned a lot. And it's helping me excel in every aspect of my life and that's that's what that's that's the goal obviously um vv is still a very promising project but it's just it's just going to take time it's going to take time for them to get to where they're going to go but also you have to manage your expectations of what you can expect like everyone expecting oh which one is going to be the first asset to get to a million and things like that we had these crazy expectations before um not really taking into consideration the broader space and what people were, were willing to pay to begin with if you have something with like like Todd, Todd for instance, it has eight thousand like plus additions or something, right? Do you think that every single one of those is going to be worth a million dollars? Absolutely not. I can I cannot see every single Todd being worth a million dollars ever. I can't. Now the the lowest mint possible, can I see that one being worth a million? Yes. So, but if that's worth a million, what does that put the lowest edition Todd at? I think that the lowest edition Todd, if the if the if if the worst Todd. If the, high, if the best tie can be worth a million, if we can get that one to a million and that's really what someone values that at, then I think that that, put, that brings everything up under it. So I feel like maybe at the worst tie could probably potentially be between five, ten thousand dollars um, $10,000. But that's just, that's just like my thoughts. I don't know if that's how it's going to work. Uh, maybe people only respect low mints. Maybe people don't even bother with the, the, um, the bad mints. Who knows? Who knows how this space is going to develop? But I believe that owning a Todd is going to be important. Own, owning some of these um, collectibles are going to be very, very important in the future. And I can see us getting back to some of the some of the prices as before quite easily. Nothing, nothing on VV was priced unrealistically, in my opinion, especially compared to what's doing well out here. Um, VV still has better NFTs than all of these, in my opinion. They have has better NFTs than all of this stuff. If people are willing to pay this type of money for that, I believe that the first appearances of the biggest brands in human history, people are going to be willing to, to spend some money on that. Um, but I do also believe that the biggest money is going to go into the one on one one of one sections more so than the stuff that we're all collecting. We're going to have stuff that's probably less than a million, like le less than a million um, 
I don't think that we we're gonna have NFTs like regular people is gonna have NFTs that's worth over um over a million just one NFT. I don't think that that's, that happens on VB. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Let me know if you think I'm wrong. Let me know why you disagree. Um, that's pretty much it. I'll drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out.